Hi, everybody. I'm Alice K. Reckelhouse from Threshold of Hineni and the Widow Reckelhouse. And today I want to show you a really, really easy way to organize your priorities and your life. Okay, that sounds like a big promise, I know. Um, it kind of is, but I'll show you. This is, it's something that I've been doing for years, like in notebooks and stuff, but a few years ago, I started doing it on my computer and I love doing it on a word processing program. Like I use Google Docs, um, you could use WordPerfect or you know any other kind of word processing thing. But what, what I did was, okay, I'm calling it life areas to order. Okay, and I, I divided it into the areas that I'm currently working on. These aren't all the areas of, in my life, obviously. Like I don't have any, I don't think I have any like physical or health thing right now. Um, and, and, and I am working on health stuff, but I just don't need to have it in here. These are the things that I have like multiple areas in. So for example, spiritual formation. I have um, a friend who's kind of mentoring me and I have my sponsor and I have things that I want to specifically work on, steeping myself in the sacraments. I have someone that I want to read about and a question that I want to really grapple with, which is what am I embracing and what am I rejecting? That might mean nothing to you, but that's what I'm working on right now. I want to find a confessor. Um, spiritual reading that I really want to work on like every month or so, you know, work through each of these. Um, do I want to find a spiritual director? That's something I've been thinking about and researching. Um, and I also want to write down my thoughts and what God's doing in my heart in such a way that it can possibly benefit others in the future. Okay, so, and that's why I'm doing some of the YouTube things that I do, not this so much. But um, those are the things that I'm currently working on. I don't have things like things that are already habits like praying, I don't have in there because that's not something that I'm working on right now. I am praying, but it's a habit, so I don't need to work on it. Let's say that I wanted to work on a specific area of prayer. Like let's say that I want to really, really work on spiritual warfare prayer. Okay, then I would put that in here. Oops, R. Okay, then I would put that in here. But right now that's not something I'm working on. I'm gonna leave that in there for now because I think that we'll, um, we'll use it in the next video. Okay, so um, another area that I'm working on is my home. Look at all this. Okay, I don't have, again, I don't have my chores that are already habits. I just have the things that I want to work through, not all of these at once, but my husband passed away a couple of years ago in a car accident and I have been really, really depressed and my house has just gotten so out of order that I can't even let anyone come into my house. It's so horrible. And you know, I want to be able to let people come into my house, obviously. Um, you know, there've been a couple of people who said, oh, well, I love you so much. It doesn't matter. You know, that when they see the condition of my house, they actually have yelled at me. Two people have. And so I've just said, okay, forget it. Nobody's coming into my house. So I get things, you know, taken care of. It really is that bad. Um, so I have things that I want to work on in this. Okay. I don't have my regular chores, like doing dishes and, um, running my Roomba or feeding my animals or anything like that. These are just like, this is a list for me to work through in my home in the various rooms of things that I want to do to get my house so that it feels good to me. Okay. Then my ministry and business. I have YouTube. I have my books that I'm writing, my courses that I'm writing, VIP Kid, which is I teach for them. It's wonderful. I really love it. Um, journals that I love to do. I'm not sure if I want this to ever be a business, but I have it in there because I want to keep working on improving it. It's something that makes me feel good. Um, I eventually want to have a ministry to single moms. So I have this in here, even though I'm not working on it yet, because I want to brainstorm ideas. So I'll have a different page about that. Um, my social life. I've listed the people that I spend time with on a regular basis. And that's because with my depression, I tend to be very um, isolating. And so, you know, I want to make sure that I spend time with those people and, and keep doing that. All of this actually is to help me to not be so depressed because this gives me something to work for, especially the ministry business part. And then all the rest of these are things that I need to do in order to be able to be effective in ministry, mainly ministry, ministry and business, but mainly ministry. Um, so, so those are just like some areas. You could also have physical fitness or your health. I have Lyme disease. So there are certain things that I do 
um, habits that I've had to get into to be able to deal with that and everything. But those are all habits now. And so I don't have those on here as things that I need to work on anymore. But if I were to get another particular um, habit that I should build or something, then I would set up a health section of this. And, and you know, maybe when I finish working on the stuff in my home, <laughs> then I can have, um, you know, something for single women and I would have single mothers and I would have, um, you know, what I want to work on for that in there. So next time, probably a week from now, I'm going to do a short video on how I then take some of those sections and uh, really make a plan for how I'm going to work on it. Okay. All right. I will talk to you later. I love you all. Bye-bye.